Welcome to AutoCount Club Payroll. Today we're going to cover a new feature. So uh, what we have here now is we have a new entitlement group. So this will be replacing our employee group from here. So we will no longer have that. We only have entitlement group. Alright, so uh, entitlement group, what does it bring to the table? So with entitlement group, you can have more flexibility when you are setting up your entitlement groups. So as you can see here, I have a few. So for example, your company might have a few groups of foreign staff, office staff and so on. So we can separate them out into foreign worker, kitchen, foreign worker, warehouse, office, intern staff and your office standard staff. To create more, just click on add new all right so when creating you'll be able to create the the title all right and then what you can do here is you can set what kind of leaves or claims are applicable to them so the unlimited leave type is that for leaves that have uh, do not have any specific entitlement like unpaid leaves or anything that you can have in your own company then select the limited one meaning that those with entitlement so from a list here i can select for example if my office standard employees are only entitled to uh, the standard leave except paternity leave all right this is an example so i just remove this option click and it will not appear here so when i set up the entitlement they will not be able to see that so for a quick example let me go to intern all right so for this intern i only create medical leave for them and i have set up the entitlement here to set up just click on add detail and you can key in the period so from service duration of zero to three years they are entitled to 15 days bf is carry forward and expiry date is you can select the dates for the carry forward leave to be expired so you can create multiple columns if you have more so from the third year to the fourth year 16 days and if you have more entitlements you can create even more so once i've done this meaning that my office intern employees can only have access to medical leave so in order to uh, set up claims you just go to the claim tab and add detail Alright, so select the claims that you can have. Alright, for example, medical, I key in the yearly limit of 1,500, monthly 500, and per visit 100. This is a quick example. Click on save. Alright, so now my office intern staff can only be entitled to unpaid leave, medical leave, and also medical claim. At the bottom here, you will be able to select which. Uh, admin user or payroll user will have access to this group for example you might say the main admin can only view these groups or you have two admins that can have access to this office intern group to be able to change view the calendars and salary information so on so you select them from here once that's done click on save so now we have multiple groups so for this employee uh, in order to set up the entitlement you go to the employee profile go to employment detail and you can select the entitlement group here so now let me go to office intern the one that we created earlier all right and then or maybe we just leave it on kitchen all right so this change select anyone that is here click on save so once that is done when this empl employee goes to apply for their leave and claim they can click on anyone so leave so when they select leave the entitlements are the only three that you set up so if you have your foreign staff the kitchen and warehouse they might have different entitlements or uh, different kind of leaves they only appear as set up so you will not appear anything else all right so uh, same same goes for the claim option where just now we only uh, created one medical claim so you only have one claims available for this group of employee all right so thank you for your time this is it for the entitlement group thank you